What I want to do now is install one of the reed switches. You get two reed switches in the kit. One is the main power reed switch, which has black wires running from it. The other reed switch is the ratchet sound on close reed switch. Uh, this has a yellow and black wire coming from it. This is the one that I want to look at installing. Now the closing ratchet sound reed switch goes on the inside of the main body between the two hinges. So this is where it sits in here. Now in order to operate it, it needs a magnetic field and that magnetic field comes from one of the two magnets that are supplied in the kit. Now these are tiny magnets, however one is much smaller than the other. The bigger magnet is for the other reed switch and we'll deal with that later. The smaller magnet, which will operate the closing ratchet reed switch, needs to be installed on the outside of the door between the hinges. But, as this is all going to be covered over with filler and sanded so it looks very similar to this surface, it needs to be embedded into the door there. So we're going to have to mark and cut. Right, so Okay, so that's the cutout. It's not tidied up yet, but the magnet will basically sit in there when I've uh, made it deeper. And what I might do is actually push that up to the edge. So I might take a bit more out up here. So it's nearest the thinnest point, which is down here. Well, here I've finished. Let me take that out. So you can see the hole that I've put in there, and I have moved it closer to this edge. So as the door shuts, it's going to apply a magnetic field down here. Now, the tools I've used to do this are actually engraving tool bits because you can get very very fine ends on them and they cut into this uh, resin very very easily take your time so we have the magnet here, it's not glued in or anything so it could slip out so I'm closing the door and that keeps it in place so we expect the magnetic field to be round about here I have wired up a reed switch to my sound meter, orientated it, you can see the little leaves inside to see what happens. So that looks pretty good. The magnet is now super glued into place, or being super glued as we speak, it's drying. So while we're on the magnets, I will also glue the magnet that sits here in place. This magnet's now glued in place. I hope I've got it low enough because I've got to put filler all over here and then send that down. But right now I'm going to be putting a second magnet in place which goes in this slot. Want a lot of glue. Like 
that will need to come over there. I think we'll just leave that set. I've applied a bit of epoxy resin over this. I wasn't sure the super glue would hold it, so I've just put some epoxy resin on the front to hold it in place. At the same time, I just smeared a bit of epoxy resin over this one. Uh, it's all set. When that's dry, I'll sand it down. I've got my reed switch and I'm putting it up against the body on the inside between the hinges. Uh, we have to listen for the sound. There's the tone comes in. When we move the door, it goes off. That's where it needs to be hot glued in place. Okay, I'll hot glue that in place. You can hear the tone. And I close the door. Tone stops. So that's good. So the reed switch is hot glued in place here. Now I've checked and there is enough room for the circuit board to lie here. I might have to trim a tiny little piece away of the hot glue, but there's a hot glue holding that reed switch exactly where it's supposed to be. These will be bent flat across the back of the tricorder. And run on the inside. So, just to confirm that's all working, we connect the black, then I connect the white, and we should hear nothing, which is correct. And when I open the tricorder, we should hear the tone. Now all that tone is telling me is that I have activated the reed switch. And what happens is when you close the door, you interrupt the circuit and it creates the ratchet sound. So at this point the ratchet would start making its noise. 